Uh, Ori's house, we're in um, Baldwin area. We're gonna do a replacement of a furnace and AC. So on this one, we'll pull the furnace out. We'll put our new furnace in place, coil on top of it, flush and pressure test the refrigerant lines. They run here and then they go underneath the, or over top of the joist there and over top of that beam to the outside. Um, vinyl tubing runs out of the coil to the floor drain right here. My return drop, um, we're gonna build a new return drop and we're gonna have to put a five inch um, transition in it or seven inch transition out to um, out towards the wall there so we can fit our media filter in. Right now the filter system is not ideal. Um, for my flue pipe, we're gonna do a four inch out of the top of the furnace and a new six inch by three inch by four inch swivel tee. And then we're gonna bring, just bring two foot of three inch and one three inch elbow to get rid of that aluminum stuff that's not to code right there. Gas line's black iron, we can reuse that. All the electrical looks good, we can reuse that. Just tie everything back into the existing ductwork. And then my breaker panel's right over here. Behind the door, it's behind the TV. <coughs> um, this is a Sylvania panel, so we're not going to be able to work on it at all. And nothing's marked on there, so we're either a double 60 or double 50 amp breaker for the AC. We'll pull this unit up, we'll cut this angle iron off the wall here. Do a new disconnect box and electrical whip and flush those refrigerant lines out. Um, and then we'll just need a little bit of insulation there on the outdoor suction line.